Hello, this is Billy Core for the last time, I hope, on um, October 25th of 2013. And um, this is a part of my um, Platinum 2240 update video I forgot to do, so I'm having to do this separate. This is um, the inside of what the Platinum 2240 looks like, and pretty much what the inside of any Packard Bell designer tower looks like, I suppose. Let's see what all we got in here. Um, we got the typical Packer Bell sound modem card. Um, this is the newer one that was around in the very latter part of 1996, early 97. And down there is a Packer Bell TV4 um, tuner card um, that I pulled out of my PB2990. Unfortunately, um, this, um, I cannot get it to work. It's either busted or I'm doing something very, very wrong. <laughs> yeah, it's, um, a great little card, I guess. If it works, it is. It's an ISA card. So, yeah, um, and this was, this is not original to this computer. It did not originally have a, a TV card. I thought I'd put it in here, and I just haven't take, taken it back out. And down here we have your, um, PCI IDE controller um, that I bought about a year ago for it, so I can use a 20 gigabyte hard drive in it. And that's that. Those two little pins right there, uh, I guess, uh, right there below my finger, is where you're supposed to plug in the hard drive LED light at. But take a look at the hard drive LED. It's all together with the with all these other connectors, so that's not happening. <laughs> There's the um, 200 megahertz um, Pentium MMX, which um, has a little fan on it. I know my um, 822 doesn't have a fan; it just has an eight, a heat sink. But then again, it's only a 100 megahertz non MMX Pentium. Okay. Um, it's very, very clean inside for a 16-year-old computer. Uh, CMOS battery down in there. It's not original. I replaced it when I got this computer back in 2012. Uh, CD-ROM, again, not original. The original won't work anymore. There's the five and quarter inch floppy drive that I hardly ever use. Uh, let's see, we'll flip it around. Okay, uh, we got all these ribbon cables. There's the hard drive and it's caddy. Uh, what else is there? Um, there's the 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 rim the memory. <laughs> there's the memory. Um, it's 32 megabytes. Um, and this still uses um. EDO RAM. I I might see if I can upgrade it a little bit. Uh, what else? Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Um, I just really like this computer. Um, I've always had a soft part, soft spot for these um, Packard Bell designer towers. Um, they weren't just used on on Platinums and Platinum Pro folks. Um, they used them on other um, machines as well, although it's not as common. And it pretty much shows you how um, Packard Bell was pretty much a lot different from your typical um, PC manufacturer in the mid-90s. While most PCs were very generic looking, Packard Bell went one step beyond and made them very, very, very unique looking. And that's something that they have to be commended for, I think. I'm going to have to put this back in storage for a little while. Um... I'm hoping to use this c computer as my Windows 95 computer for more heavy-duty games that the 822 was unable to handle. So I doubt I will use it a whole lot, but um, first I have to get a, a four-way KVM switch. I only have a two-way, and I sort of don't want to get rid of my Legend 402 CD. <laughs> so, because um, I need it for Windows 3.1 stuff. So, um, until um, I do, I'll just have to put this back in storage for a while, but, and hopefully it won't be for too long. 
This is Billy Core signing off on October 25th of 2013. Goodbye. Oh, um, epilogue. Um, <laughs> I forgot to show the back of the computer. Here's a sticker up here on, up top. Pretty much standard fare. There's the power supply fan and connector. There's the sound card. Uh, the non-functional TV card. And here are the the motherboard ports. We got a VGA out, two USB ports, which is very, very rare for this era, PS2 mouse and keyboard, parallel, and serial. And here is the manufacturer sticker. It, this computer was built on January 9th of 1997. I was seven years old. So, yeah. That's um, the back of it, and now for real, here is, this is Billy Core signing off.